What's up, everybody? My name is Ryan Turford from Game-Moose.com, and I'm here with yet another unboxing. Uh, this time, I'm taking a look at the June 2018 edition of Retro Game Treasure. So this, this little box here. Now, in case you're wondering what Retro Game Treasure is, because I've never actually done one of these unboxings before, Retro Game Treasure is a monthly game subscription service uh, where basically you tell them the games you already own. You tell them the systems you like, and they basically will try and send you the games that will compliment you. They, you can also say, hey, I like these genres. Uh, you also can say, hey, uh, I don't like games of this genre, things like that. So you can say what to receive, what not to receive. It's very tailored towards you uh so if you like this uh like what you see here you can check out retrogametreasure.com that's our, their website uh and again this is my very first edition at retro game treasure i've never actually opened one of these before um, i've never subscribed to the service before so i'm brand new um and right off the bat of course uh this is not retro game treasure's fault this is just the the candidate post uh issue basically the <laughs> they, they stuffed this in a really really small mail slot and it yeah this is the result of me trying to actually remove it so i didn't actually get to see any of the contents inside the box and just in case you're wondering why it's torn it's just like that unfortunately and it didn't it didn't get damaged in shipping this way it was just put into a mailbox it probably shouldn't have been so let's get into it uh we're gonna sort of open this now they send you anywhere between three to five games from what i can tell from other unboxing videos they will send you generally whatever the value of the box is or as close to over or under uh, the value of the box in games so if you get some really valuable games you usually only get about three games uh, otherwise if you have uh, sort of a low like lower value games you usually get about five so uh, we're gonna grab my old trusty knife here to sort of get rid of this tape because i hate tape if you're new to uh the channel and my unboxing videos Tape and I do not get along, despite the fact that it keeps my packages safe. And of course, I'm very thankful that tape exists. All right, so I'm gonna do this as blind as possible. Um, again, it might be tough because the, the box is ripped, but that's okay. So we got bubble wrap on top. Don't need that. I mean, it's good that it's there because it's, it's very well packaged. So, ooh, I'm, I'm feeling some more, some additional bubble wrap. That That's a new one. So even more bubble wrap. I'm guessing there's probably a lot of carts in here. There's at least one. In fact, it's pretty much all carts. Now, the games, I, the systems I actually subscribe to are SNES, NES, Genesis, GameCube, um, and Sega CD is another one. That's one of the reasons I actually was really interested in Retro Game Treasure is because they actually do Sega CD games, which is awesome. So first game feels like a Genesis game or, or Famicom game. Ooh. So this is, this is actually really cool. This is Dragon Quest IV. This is, so first of all, uh, yeah, I have play on a Retron 5. I don't actually own a Famicom, uh, but I do play Famicom games. And this one, I, it doesn't get much better than this one. So Dragon Quest IV, a really awesome RPG. Uh, Dragon Warrior here in the States, of course. Um, the label itself on the back is a little bit worn, but the front label looks immaculate. It looks really cool. Um, so Dragon Quest, of course, is a series just like Final Fantasy. It's a JRPG series uh, and it's really awesome. And I can't wait to play this because actually I've never played Dragon Quest 4. So uh, I'm actually really excited to check this out. Um, again, I, I did specify that I'm OK with imports. Um, so there were pro this probably won't be the only import game I get in this uh, collection. So next up, this one definitely feels like a Genesis game based on the rib on the back. Oh, <laughs> Batman Forever, the video game, Batman Forever. Uh, famously, not a very good game, but I'm really excited to go back and play it uh, for this video because, you know, uh, sometimes it's really fun to go back to games that are not super great. Uh, that being said, I'm really excited to actually have this in my collection. I own a lot of Justin's games and uh, I have Batman Returns, but now I have Batman Forever to sit alongside the shelf with it. So there we go. The label's a little bit worn on that one as well. Um, but again, it's, it's tough to get sort of new, uh, looking labels, especially on old, old school games. Uh, so next up, this is either a Genesis game or a Super Famicom game. And it, it feels more like Super Famicom. Oh, no, Genesis. Mortal Kombat 2. Oh, yeah. So Mortal Kombat 2, really awesome fighting game. It's the one Mortal Kombat game on Genesis I don't actually own. So it's actually pretty cool to finally have the complete trilogy, the trilogy, uh, and I, uh, of course, signing out K in my head completely, of course, you got to put the K in there because it's Mortal Kombat. Uh, it was really awesome to, first of all, I actually met Red Ed Boon about this time of last year 
Uh, we, t we talked a little bit about Mortal Kombat specifically, although it was an Injustice event, so we did talk about that as well. Uh, and it's just really cool to actually now have all three Mortal Kombat games. So two Genesis games so far and a Famicom game. Not what I was expecting, but totally, totally welcome. So I think this might be the last game. We've got an, a Game Boy Advance game, and I, I, I love the Game Boy Advance. So what we got here? We got Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, a game that I've never played. First of all, I've never played any of the Mario and Luigi games. Uh, I know it's sort of cr the criminal, I guess, to say. Uh, basically, the spiritual successor to the Mario RPG franchise that is so close to the Broccoli Brock McLaughlin's heart, of course, uh, fellow podcaster. Uh, again, the this game is always been really appealing. From what I hear, this is the, the the best one of the three, although Bowser's Inside Story, I hear arguments for that as well for the, the DS. And I'm really excited to play this. So again, my... Uh, D Game Boy Advance collection starting to grow a little bit uh, with this and then Super Mario Advance recently. So it's really cool. I've got some really cool additions to my Game Boy Advance lineup. And I think that's it. Confirming, confirming that the box is now empty. And of course, I love the little uh, stuff that uh, they put in the box. So thank you for your subscription. Here's a few tips. Post your treasure picks and earn extra entries in our boss chess giveaways. They're basically like the nerd block equivalent of the uh, mega box. Uh, we guarantee your games arrive working. Just email us if you have any issues. Stay retro, buck the mega buck. And of course, games at retrogametreasure.com is their email address. And of course, their website, retrogametreasure.com. So that's it. That's everything in the box. Uh, overall, an impressive haul. Um, Again, I, I've, these are all games I'm, I'm willing to try even, yes, even you, Batman Forever. Uh, again, it's a game I've only really seen people play, but I've never actually played myself. And in fact, it's really awesome because the only game I've played in this whole collection is uh, Mortal Kombat 2. So really cool assortment of games. So what do you think about Retro Game Treasure? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, do you want to see me play more retro games on the YouTube channel or on uh, Twitch or Mixer? Let me know as well. You can hit me up on Twitter at Ryan Turford. That's T-U-R-F-O-R-D. You can find, also find me on every episode of the Game Moose podcast available at game-moose.com as well as this YouTube channel as well as podcast services around the globe every Monday at noon Eastern Standard Time. We bring you a new episode of that. Um, you can also find our website game-moose.com of course for all kinds of cool stuff including reviews, previews, other cool articles and of course the Game Moose podcast as well. Anyways, that's going to do it for this unboxing. I'm Ryan Turford and thanks for watching. We'll see you later.